Hey Dean, how's things? Yeah, good thanks Emma. So we're finally at the autumn break. How, how are your paddocks looking? Yeah, no, we've got a few bare paddocks we'll need to have a look at and we just need to work out what we can grow our quickest form of feed to get us up and running so we can stop trying to feed out our silage as soon as we can. What, right, are, you, yeah. what are you recommending? So for something really quick out of the ground at this time of year, I'd probably suggest a forage oat. Something like mammoth is going to be really quick out of the ground and also quite long season as well. You've got a couple of grazings and then you'll get a decent hay or silage cut at the end of the season, so coming into the spring. Obviously as we get later in the soil temperatures decline and you've probably got some sacrifice paddocks that you'll use going into autumn. Always. Yeah, so July, August is a really good time to look at planting a forage barley. So forage barley is a little bit shorter season than the oats typically, which means that it gets out of the ground really, really quickly. And they're gonna provide you that really fast feed during those cold winter months. But you've also got obviously annual ryegrasses. So at this stage of the season, it's still reasonably early. The break's only just happened. We can put an annual ryegrass in quite comfortably and it'll get up and away really quite quickly. So the annual ryegrass isn't gonna be quite as fast out of the ground as the cereals, but obviously it's gonna really go late into the spring and provide really good hay and silage opportunities. Yep. Possibly um, what you really want to do is look at a mix. So you can certainly use a forage oat with an annual ryegrass. Yep. And that way you've got your oats giving you the real quick push and the quick feed. And you've got the annual ryegrass in there helping with those grazings, helping with the quality as well. And also providing that really late spring growth. A bit of late feed. Exactly. So potentially after you've cut your, your silage or your hay, you can actually have a bit of a light graze or possibly, depending how the season goes, if you get moisture, you may again. even get another cut, exactly. That sounds good. Right here, should we go and have a look at these yeah, paddocks? Yeah, let's see. Beautiful. Grow with confidence. Insist on the yellow bag. Heritage Seeds. Available at all quality rural outlets.